if you are suffering from the FL Studio EA Access violation error or your FL Studio is crashing every time you try to start it, every time you try to open a project, then this is the video that's going to solve your problems and put a big fat smile on your face. Keep watching. We are about to turn it all around and fix your issues today. Instead of spending two days uninstalling and reinstalling all your plugins as well as FL Studio like I did, watch this video to the end and you'll leave with a solution that works. But before we eat a weird looking through and lose our ability to swim forever, I've got a question for you. Question is, what's the fastest way to get FL Studio working when it keeps crashing? I'm assuming you don't know, but if you do know the answer, leave your answer in the comment section down below. And if you don't know, don't worry. I'll be revealing the answer later on in the video. Just stay tuned. And let's get into it. There are five different ways that you can attempt to fix this issue. I'm gonna start with the method that worked for me personally, and then I'm gonna go through a few other methods that I tried, that I found online and whatnot. That didn't work for me, but might work for you. So let's first off start with the method that worked for me. Step number one, use a different ACO driver. Go to your audio settings. You see where it says device, go here and choose something else. Just to add, if you totally cannot get into FL Studio whatsoever, it can't open up because it just keeps on crashing. What you need to do is open up the 32 bit version of FL Studio that will allow you to be able to open up FL Studio so you can actually get to these settings. And I'll show you how to do that later on in the video. Just needed to let you know this so you know it is possible to get in here and change those settings. Also, another thing that you can try to do is open a completely empty project, not a template, not the demo, not any project with anything in it, just something that's got nothing in it that has the best chance of staying up and working without crashing. But let's get back into the video. I would suggest you use your default sound driver. This is my sound driver that I use, my main out one, two. This is my audio interface sound driver. However, you can also use ACO for all. That generally works pretty well. The issue I was having is the FL Studio ACO was the one that was causing all the issues. It was just messing everything up. It didn't before, but now all of a sudden it does. So I don't know why that's happening, but if I change it to the FL Studio ACL driver, I will start getting errors and it will start crashing on startup. That may be the issue for you as well. So the first thing you should try is changing your ACL driver. However, if this doesn't work for you, keep watching because there are more solutions coming. Step number two is to do a system scan and fix any errors. In order to do this, you need to go to the start menu, type in command prompt, Oh, command should get you there and then open the command prompt. You may have to run this as administrator if you're not. And then you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. And if we enter, ah, it says we need to run it as an administrator in order to use this utility. Basically what this will do is it will search through your computer files and see if there are any essential files that are broken that need to be repaired and then it will go through and repair those files. So this is something that you should pretty much do at least once a year just in case to kind of check up on your computer. But if you're having issues with certain programs, this is something that you should try out to see if there are certain program files that are just messed up that you can easily fix using this. It takes like maybe up to an hour, but give it its time, let it do its thing, let it find what's going on and let it try and fix your problem for you. Step number three is to update your sound drivers. There are a few ways to do this. First way is to go to the start menu, type in devices or device. Here you'll see device manager, which is basically where you wanna be. So we'll open this up and this will show you all the devices you currently have installed on your system. Then you can go to sound, video and game controllers and check that your audio controllers are where they need to be. Go to update driver, search automatically for drivers see if the best drivers are all automatically installed, if it's like the latest one and all that sort of stuff. Also, you have your audio inputs and outputs up here. So you can also check for the different drivers up here, but I don't think actually trying to update anything up here is gonna make much of a difference. It's really the sound video and game controllers. When you come down here, this is where you'll actually be able to check whether you have the latest version of the drivers or not. 
but sometimes this won't show you the most accurate information because Windows may not have it. If you scroll through this, you may also see other sound drivers. For example, here we can see our Presona Studio USB device that we can come here and also check to see if we can update the driver and all that sort of stuff. Now we can also see if we can update the driver. However, if you're using an audio interface, it likely comes with a program that you can use to actually update the drivers for your audio interface. And if it doesn't, go to the website for your audio interface manufacturer and you'll probably find a list of the latest drivers on there. For example, with our Presona Studio 24C audio interface, I do have this program called Universal Control, which is our interface driver program. So here we can go to settings, we can update firmware, we can check to see if it needs an update. So we can go to check for updates. Hopefully we don't need an update right now. As you can see, our version is up to date. We can update the firmware as I just showed you. Or if we didn't have this, we could simply go to the Personas website because Personas is the manufacturer of our audio interface. And then we could download the driver from there. If you don't know how to do this, basically go to Google, type in your manufacturer, type in driver, or type in the name of your audio interface space drivers download. For example, let's do this studio. 24C drivers download. Then it will take you to the website or wherever you need to go to download it. It's very, very easy, very, very straightforward. If you know how to Google, you know how to get your drivers. But the sad news is you might know how to Google, but you might not know how to make your own trap beats from scratch, but let's fix that. You can learn how to make your own trap beats from scratch with my easy nine step trap beat making formula. Link down below, go to jcarterray.com forward slash free trap course. This course will take you from creating your melodies all the way to mastering your beat. And it's completely free. You've got nothing to lose except for the opportunity to join this course before it goes away forever. So link down below, go check that out as soon as possible. And step number four was going to be update your, <laughs> your audio interface drivers, but I already did that with updating your sound card and all that sort of stuff. So I guess I've kind of put those in together, but those are two different things. Keep that in mind. Step number five, however, is to update windows. If you've never manually updated windows before, go to the start menu, go to your control panel or go to settings. It should take you to control panel when you go to settings and then you'll see windows update. If you go to updates and security and here you'll see if there are updates that you need to update. now. We don't need to update anything right about now, but there are optional updates that we could go for. Sometimes those optional updates will help you out. Sometimes they will not. So keep that in mind, but you can always check for updates to see if there's anything that you need that's essential that you're currently missing because you didn't download the latest update. Okay. So those are the five things you should be doing in order to fix your FL studio issues. One of them should help you. If none of these have helped you, please leave a comment down below. And if you found a different solution that has helped you, please leave a comment down below as well. We're all out here trying to use FL Studio and you know how FL Studio is. Once in a while, you'll open it up and it'll be like, no, we're not working. So let's help each other out if we can. Now, I did ask you a question earlier and I did tell you I was gonna answer it later on in the video and I am a man of my word. That question was, what's the fastest way to get FL Studio working when it keeps crashing? And this is a pretty easy answer. The fastest way to do that is to use the 32-bit version of FL Studio. Now, I do not know why, but for some reason, when my 64-bit version of FL Studio is not working, when it keeps on crashing, when it keeps on giving me some sort of error, the 32-bit version works. Like, it just works smoothly. I have no idea why. But the biggest problem with the 32-bit version is some plugins do not work in the 32-bit version of FL Studio. For example, Arcade does not work in the 32-bit version, neither does Analog Lab. So different plugins may not work in the 32-bit version, but if you have a project that you need to finish ASAP and you're working on it, you want to get it done, you want to get back into it, but your FL Studio keeps on crashing, load up that 32-bit version and everything should operate pretty smoothly. Now, if you don't know how to get to the 32-bit version, let me show you this real quick. First of all, right click on your FL Studio 20 desktop shortcut because this will lead you to the 64-bit version. And when this menu comes up, 
simply go to open file location. Here you'll see FL Studio 64, which is the main one. And then you'll see FL EXC, which is the 32 bit version. So what I've done is I've just created a shortcut on my desktop for the FL 32 bit version. All you need to do is drag it to your desktop to create a shortcut like that. But then you have access to both of them. You have access to FL Studio 20 when you need it, and you have access to FL Studio 30, well, 20, but 32 bit when you need that as well. So let's quickly recap the steps of how to fix this FL Studio error. First things first, change your ACO driver, change your sound card, change your sound device, whatever audio settings you're using right about now, change it up, see if that works for you. Second up, do a system scan. Go to start, SFC, scan now, and fix any files that are messed up. Third step, update your sound drivers. Fourth step, update your audio interface drivers. Fifth step, update Windows altogether. Check out the links down below. There's a lot of great stuff in the description, like my beat mixing templates, which will have your beats half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage, but you'll learn more in the description, so go and check that out. A lot of stuff you'll love in there. If there are any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below. Now go and check out that video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.